Welcome, right, I thought I'd just do a quick demo. What I'm gonna do, the plan is to update the firmware on my Meshtastic device, Freebird 104. So uh, that's not connected to the power bank at the moment. It's connected with USB lead, USB-C, USB-A into the laptop you see in front of you. So um, this is Windows 10. I don't have Windows 11, but um, straight out of the box, it's actually a clean install about a week or two ago. So uh, let's have a look how we get on. Okay, so we're on the Meshtastic site now. Okay, select target device. In my case, it's the Heltec V3. Okay, select firmware version. I shall choose the latest stable version. Okay, I go to Flash. and continue okay ensure device is plugged into usb choose the board rate and we will hit update no compatible devices found okay if you can see that no compatible devices found as far as uh, serial port or usb port or anything like that nothing there all right i could muck about and have a look on the internet see if i can find the right drivers etc but let me just illustrate something for you and I'll be straight back. I'm going to boot out of uh, close down now Windows 10 and I'm going to boot into Puppy Linux or probably any Linux based distribution will be the same. And indeed, this trick works with Chrome OS Flex as well. So uh, let's see how we get on. Shut down. OK, so what I've got now is is my key ring of uh, operating systems on USB sticks. So uh, I've actually got OS Flex, Chrome OS Flex on that one. So uh, that does work as well. I've got this one. Now that's my uh, USB with uh, Bookworm Pup64 Puppy Linux on it. Okay, and that's the one I installed Chirp onto in uh, a previous video, or at least it was the same methods I did. So all I'm gonna do now is plug that into uh, USB. It's always upside down the first time you try it. And boot in. F7 boot menu. And let's have a look. So that is that device there. Okay, so I'm gonna boot into Puppy Bookworm Pup 64. Right, so I'm booted into uh, Bookworm Pup 64, running completely off the uh, USB stick. So uh, that's the setup I've got. I'm actually mucking about with a portable version of Edge at the moment, but uh, some people will question my decision to run Edge on Linux uh, based distribution, but uh, entirely up to me. And I've switched almost everything off that goes back to Microsoft in the settings, but uh, that's immaterial for this video. So let's go to, um, Meshtastic uh, Flasher. There we are, flasher.meshtastic.org. Let's blow that up full screen for you. Okay, so exactly the same setup, not touched a thing. Select target device, Haltech V3. Select firmware version, that one, and flash. Go down to the bottom, continue, okay. And there we have update. And now, without touching, adding any drivers or anything, we're picking up all those serial ports, okay. And that's the one we want, USB to UART bridge click on that one connect and it's doing its thing so that is a straight like for like comparison between my experience with radio stuff and running chirp as i said before on this works an absolute peach give windows 10 its due chirp does run on that okay but 
there we are windows 10 which will be uh, falling out of support uh, in less than a year's time and this machine will not support windows 11 but so i'm booting into a fully usable system just off a usb with a linux distribution and um, i'm doing stuff that i couldn't do out of the box with windows 10. okay hope you found that of some use and i'll catch you on the next one